did you decide to write this book? Who is a Muslim child? Uh, me. You? Why did you decide to write this book at an early age? I had no plan, but one day I went to pray, pray at a mosque, and mm -hmm. and I asked, "What does a mom mean?" He won't understand that word. He will understand. Imam. Yeah. I know what Imam is. Imam is the person that leads the prayers. Holy <laughs> ah. See, my mother is a Muslim, so I understand. <coughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. But I asked a mom to pray for a miracle, but. Because it was the 4th of July, but the Imam refused to do so. Why? Mm, long story, long story. So you recently also got a chance to meet with President Obama. What was that like? Uh, I didn't actually meet with him, but he gave me a letter. I would agree. I would agree. So, you just wrote a book about a world without terrorism. Why did you write that? Rather than that, uh, it's really sweet to make, to write this book, but I will share it too. January 7th, 2015. Let's hope for the happiness of Washington, D.C. at 5 a.m. I'll be here until 30 minutes late. My heart raced since my dad parked in car in front of the Church of the Guard stopped us and asked us to go through the metal detector. As we were complying with this request, I noticed that the many of the guards were staring at us. And then I realized something was wrong. On a TV monitor adjacent to the metal detector, I saw two terrorists side to Sheriff Kuwati, killing, uh, killing all, all the journalists in a building in France <laughs> in a Charlie Hebdo newspaper. I hoped that uh, they, they were not Muslim, but not 10 seconds later, I heard Alamu Akbar. I heard them shout Alamu Akbar while killing journalists. Uh, the guard has said, what does that mean? And my dad explained, a lot of our star used to be God is great, but uh, today it means uh, uh, I will kill the journalists. I am a terrorist. Jackson Heights, or the Bengali part of America, we went there one time to uh, to a restaurant named Kabar Bari okay. uh, to, uh, to hang up a post to glue a poster. One man saw my middle name and he immediately started talking. He grew things behind our back uh, to his group. Because of he Isaac? Said, yeah, he okay. said uh, that I cannot, can, I and my family cannot be Muslim because the middle name Isaac gives uh, us Jewish and Christian spells. What would you think about that? Very uh, rude. And if that man started to directly smoking his cigarette at us, forcing really? my family to inhale the secondary smoke. Did you leave or did you talk to him? A thing of beauty is a journey forever. Who are you? My name is Bruno Isaac Barry. Wonderful. My name is Dr. Gonzalez. It's nice to meet you. And we're here because of this book you wrote? Ah, uh, yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about your book? Uh, there are uh, people who are called uh, Rohingyas. Mm -hmm. uh, and they, it, they live in a country called Myanmar, which is very close to Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. In fact, it even shares borders with Bangladesh. And what happened there? Uh, so, um, uh, one day I was just relaxing in the car, reading a newspaper, when I suddenly uh, saw the, uh, the picture of a dead young a very young looking boy and when I caught up on the news I found out it was a 40 day old boy uh, named, named Abdul Masood who I mm -hmm. now call my other brother. Okay. Did you ever meet him? Uh, no, not really. What happened with him? What was going on with this boy? Um, he, 
He died due to the reckless behavior of the Myanmar leader, Aung San Suu Kyi. So what did the leader do that, that led to this? Aung San Suu Kyi needs to uh, build, truly build a modern Myanmar. Not one that, uh, that is uh, falsely made of peace. Bind us to the earth, spite of despondence, of the inhuman dearth of noble natures, of the gloomy days, of all the unhealthy and o'er-darkened ways made for us.